Guys, Adam here from the Tins Academy. We're gonna do a quick video on how to set up and properly install on the rear window on this Honda Civic. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my outside prep. So my outside prep, spray the back window. Then we're gonna take a scrub pad and scrub the entire back window off. Once I scrub it, I'm gonna spray it down one more time and we're gonna squeegee out that back window. Now, once I do my outside prep, we're gonna do what's called a dry shrink. We wanna keep a light soap film between the glass and the film, so we can manipulate and move those fingers around. So to do that, I'm gonna do a light mist across my window. We take a bounce sheet, we can also use any dry soap, bar soap. I'm gonna soak down this, and we're gonna wet it all across the window. We want even distribution of the soap all across this window here. Now, this has to be perfectly dry. When I'm doing my dry, when I'm waiting for it to dry, we're gonna do our inside prep, getting the inside ready while this is drying on the outside. Once it's dry, we can lay down our film and begin to shrink our film. Okay, so now we're waiting for the outside to dry, we do our inside prep. So we have these heat lines here that are very, very sensitive and break easily. So I use my white scrub pad, I'm gonna spray out my entire window and I'm gonna scrub out the entire window. Now, for those pieces I can't get with my normal scrub pad, I'm gonna take my bulldozer, put my scrub pad up against it, and get behind all those pieces. Once I scrub everything out, I'm gonna take my bulldozer, and we're just gonna squeegee everything down through the window. Now, I'm gonna do this two to three times. I'll spray it, squeegee it, spray it again. Once I've done that about two to three times, I'm gonna wipe down the entire back dash and we're ready to go for our inside prep. So by this time, this should be dry so I can do my outside film. Now we did our outside prep. We dr everything is dry here. If it takes a little bit longer to dry, you can use a heat gun and dry it out. We did our inside prep, now we're gonna lay our film. So I use a 36 inch roll of film. I want full coverage of this on the glass. So roll out our film so we have enough here. And now I'm gonna do what's called a rough cut. So once I lay out my film, I'm gonna line everything up on the glass. And I'm gonna do a rough cut. Do a small anchor in the center. And anything that's not on the glass, I'm gonna get rid of it. Now we have everything on the glass, we're gonna set it up. So I'm gonna pull my hand in the center, pulling that film across and drawing a line. Pull this center up here, pull it across and drawing a line. Now we wanna build out our four quadrants. So we have that line across the center. Take my hard card and reinforce that line. Then come down the center, this way and across this way. So in this pattern, we're gonna build the letter H. Come down here and build our letter H. So we did a line through the center and a line on the side. Once I make that, I'm gonna do one more line down the center of the actual piece of film. So down the center, up the center. This is gonna be making us four quadrants. So now I'm gonna focus on these four quadrants across here. Remember, we do a factory edge of factors. We'll keep everything going vertical down. Now my only focus is shrinking this quadrant here. Once I've done this quadrant, we'll move up to this quadrant across the top. So now once I'm done this quadrant, we can move on to our next quadrant. This is completely shrunk, so I'm good to move on to this one up here. This side and this side's done, I'm gonna move on to my other side. Now we're done shrinking, we're gonna go into our final cut. When we do our final cut, I'm gonna go a quarter inch past that dot matrix. Okay. 
So once I made my final cut, we'll do what's one called a wet shrink. So I'm gonna lift my film, spray underneath. The purpose of doing this wet shrink is that we get rid of any kind of fingers. A lot of guys will skip this step, but we find it very important during our courses so we can minimize any fingers coming through the actual film. So once I wet underneath it, I'm gonna spread my film back out. With my hand, get rid of all these big water pockets. And with my hard card, reinforce and redraw my H and push all that excess water out from the film. And then come across here. So we still have those fingers. If I were to go in and install that right now, we'd probably get a couple fingers coming through that film. Come across here and push all the rest of that water out so we can just really attack those fingers off. So I'm just gonna run my heat gun over top and we're gonna get rid of any kind of excess finger across. Now, if you do have an issue getting fingers when you're installing your rear window, we suggest you can do this one or two more times more just to make sure you don't get any of those fingers popping up. So now we shrunk this, we're ready to install. Before we install this film, we're we'll gonna do one more clean, spray, squeegee, spray. So now we have the film on the glass. Before I take a squeegee to it, I'm gonna spray down the glass. With my hand, I wanna get out any big pockets. If I take a squeegee to this, we could cause crease or damage to the film. So once I get all these big pockets out, I'm gonna take my bulldozer and I follow my same H pattern. So I'll come across the center and then down to the side. Now I'm gonna sit, follow the same way that I shrunk this piece of film here and then down to the side. And then we're gonna come straight up this way. Now we're doing this very, very lightly. Once I do my hard squeegee, we're gonna hard squeegee it here. So I'm gonna spray down my film one more time and do a hard squeegee. So with my hard squeegee, we're actually gonna follow the heat lines. If I go over top of them like a speed bump, we can move air, which can cause a little bit of peanuts. So when I do my hard squeegee, I'm gonna follow this exact line, pushing all that excess slip solution out. Now, once I do all my hard squeegee across, we're gonna check it, make sure we don't have any dirt or hair. At that time, you let it dry. If it's the colder months, I'd actually turn on the car, put on the rear defroster, then I'm gonna go to my driver window. Once I do all the rest of my car, I'm gonna come back and do my checks, push out any extra water, creases, or chisel any dirt or specks they may see in that window film.